Hi, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a straw cutting sensory tub. This is really a great activity for developing scissor skills as well as fine motor skills. For sensory tubs, you don't need to have one of those big commercial classroom um, tubs if you can't afford that. Just a simple clear bucket works well too. This is a smaller size version for maybe um, two children to work together in. Otherwise, they come in bigger sizes as well. And they can, these can be set on a table or you can make a stand for them, but you don't feel like you have to have one of the big large commercial sets just to have a sensory table activity or sensory tub activity. For this all you need is your tub and some colored straws and these are very inexpensive. You can find them anywhere at Shopko, Walmart, um, whatever discount store you have by you will have these straws and I think colored one works the best because they're, um, they're eye-catching, more engaging for the children. And to start this out I usually have a few straws on the bottom of the sensory tub and then I just have full size, full, full size straws uh, set in a container along with scissors and the children can self-select the straws that they want and they would just simply cut whatever size they want into your sensory tub and they would just keep doing that for as long as they want and just to um, they can go around and feel the straws maybe compare the different sizes you could count how many different colors there are if you wanted to or separate them by colors there's lots of activities you can do with these straws for your sensory tub. And so again, I do want to caution you that um, these straws can be small sizes. So children under three or children who are in the stage of putting uh, items in their mouth you want to use close supervision with. But this is definitely a fun, a fun activity. Children are learning how to cut and develop those scissor skills while they are having fun and they're not even realizing that they're, they're actually learning and um, learning those skills. Lots of fun. Even adults like to do that, cut the straws and feel them in the bucket. You can also, I have also another video uh, on straw lacing on my website as well as on YouTube, so you can check that out. These can be used later if you have them out of your sensory tub or even in a sensory tub. Um, just lace the straws with some yarn or string. Um, that works well too. For straw lacing, or not straw lacing, straw cutting, cutting sensory tub. I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and thanks for watching.